Uh, Derek Spillone, glad to be joined alongside Chicago Bears wide receiver Darnell Mooney. Darnell, how are you feeling today, man? I'm good. I'm good. How about yourself? Good, man. Appreciate you taking the time out. And uh, just first and foremost, how special is it for you uh, to be a part of events like this where you get a chance to you know, interact with fellow Bears fans and Darnell Mooney supporters? Uh, it's amazing for me. I hope it's amazing for everybody else. I, I don't have many things I can to interact with them with, except for on the field, you know, after games and all that. So this is another, another thing that I can do. And uh, through your journey to the stage in, in your life and career, when you have a chance to reflect back, is it still surreal for you at times to see, you know, how far you've come and what you've been blessed to achieve up to this point? Uh, just just in you say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed, and I just have the gratitude of just accepting that every day. So I'm, I'm happy every day, and I'm super grateful. For sure. And uh, as someone coming up who had a dream and achieved it, what's your message to the youth when it comes down to setting goals and taking steps towards their respective dreams? Uh, the biggest thing is discipline. Um, and... Um, knowing what you want and um, just literally taking a head on and um, taking one step at a time. For sure. And Darnell, I mean, football and sports in general, you know, have a way of bringing out the, the best in oneself sure, and teaching sure. a lot of lessons along the way. Sure. What would you say has been the biggest life lesson the game of football has taught you? Um, again, discipline and um, just learning the ups and downs of, um, of how football can be. That's the same thing with life. So just understanding that if you can just go day by day, not think about the past, not think about the future, just literally living in the moment, and um, that uh, that works better than you know looking for both ways. Have you found that balance though for yourself, like early on when you got in the league of just kind of living in that moment? Because I know things happen so fast. So for sure, yeah, my first year is that that's exactly what I started doing, just living in the moment, and um, there was no anxiety, no depression, or anything when I was just living in the moment instead of looking in the looking in the past or or in the future, just being where I am. For sure. And uh, staying on the topic of football, it's, it's been an eventful offseason for the Bears for organization. Sure, for sure. uh, with that, what excites you the most about this upcoming season and the direction the team is heading in? Uh, winning. Winning. Yeah. So, biggest thing is winning. Um, and we're putting a lot of pieces on the, the table to win. So I'm very, very extremely happy about that. Yeah, because, I mean, the offensive nucleus that's being established heading into this year has the ability to make some noise for years to come. Uh, so just, you know, how has training alongside guys like Justin throughout your career and that that core helped you elevate your game as you prepare for this uh, this marquee season. Just understanding that um, it takes um, everybody. It takes everybody gluing together and um, having a good chemistry. Don't force anything. Let everything come natural. Work together. Um, if you have everybody working very, very hard and knowing the main goal, it, it should come together for sure. For sure. Same page, right? Buying, buying, into, the, buying into the philosophy. Uh, draft is around the corner. 10 picks this year, but I want to take a stroll down memory lane, go back to the fifth round of the 2020 NFL Draft. Uh, can you just take us through your draft day experience, what that moment was like for you? Um, so mine's is probably unnormal than everyone else. I was I was kind of working out. I got the call, and I stepped outside for a little bit, and it kind of sounded like that I was not happy or whatever, but um, I was just kind of like trying to go ahead and go back to working out or whatever. But um, like during the call, it sounded like I'm just so nonchalant, and yeah, like, Let's do it. Let's do it. I was really just trying to go back to work out. Like, all right, I accept it. I'm glad that you picked me, but all right, now it's time to roll. Because so. you're coming from that workout. So were you with your friends and family? Were you, or did you have to tell them, that, like, hey, I, mean, I got the call? Like, <laughs> upstairs. They okay. were upstairs. I was downstairs in, like, the basement working out and stuff. Okay. So, so you got the call, and then you did you run up and tell your family, like, hey? No, I didn't tell them nothing. I just okay. sat in the back and then watched it pop up. And then they were like, oh, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of let it be that surprise yeah. in that moment. No, that's awesome. And uh, I'll find one for you. Um, aside from football, what's one thing about Darnar Mooney not many people know that you can share with us, maybe a special hobby or interest aside from the game? Um, I play the piano, so I'm really nice at the piano. Um, I play it by ear, and I'm starting to learn sheet music, so anybody that can help me try to learn sheet music, I'm, I'm willing to uh, learn for sure. Uh, what, what age did that, that, that start around? Um, very, very young, very, okay. very young. Yeah. Any marquee, like your go-to when you're when you're at the, the functions or the family's putting you on the spot? No, there... they don't know. They don't know. <laughs> That's what makes it about the, what they don't know, and now they know. So, no, nah, but yeah. uh, hey, Derek Spohn, Darnar Mooney, appreciate your time, man. Best of luck this season, and thanks for chopping it up with thank us. You, so. Thank you. All right.